morning everyone friends uh, one person came to us is not an american is not an indian so he worked uh, as a teaching assistant to a professor so let me he wrote an email let me read uh, the email as it is uh, by not revealing the years and uh, university names uh, again the disclaimer is i am not against indians india america and americans i love america americans india and indians and human beings again i am not against uh, on particular race or community and uh, not against international students the reason i am placing this video is for uh, indians in uh, india professors especially parents needs to introspect and do a root cause analysis and find a fix rather than pushing 200k 200000 students from india with huge loans to us so you need to know what's going on here again i always prefer top 3 universities it doesn't mean that whoever joined some subscriber said say top 500 so it doesn't mean that we were not in top 3 or bad so don't think like that so i came to uh, united states in the year uh, it was almost 10 years or uh, 15 years old story but still it is happening that is where uh, somebody professor sent an email to me uh, in the year with f1 visa in brackets non indian to do my phd uh, to do my phd in the university uh, i'm not reading university name it was a direct phd admission in computer science from my undergrad for the first so two semesters i appointed as a teaching assistant to help undergraduates and master students with their homework and lab projects two third of master students were from india and there started my hard times to fight with them when a professor teaches a course over and over the homework and assignments are almost similar with minor changes with that minor changes the results varied but the students copied homework assignments from the students who already did the course before without realizing the minor changes that their results came as same as previous semester the reason i love because in india we copy is very common you type in google right you will get the those things and uh, so they copied without any making changes for example if i write kumar they are copy kumar the name they have to type right with no teaching experience i could catch them so they were so blind in copying that's what i just explained they did not even bother to read the questions after the grades were published they argued with me about their grades and i tried to give a logic of uh, having the same answers to previous semesters so i requested catch them they were so blind in copying they did not even bother to read uh, they argued with me about their grades they tried logic of having same answers to the previous semesters i requested to the department chair that i i would no longer be ta teaching assistant of master students it was very stressful to fight against cheating then in the next following year so again i'm not revealing some of the email details i chose my professor dr abc and started my phd thesis so one of my jobs was to help him in his classes unfortunately he got a very important core grad course then again i had to deal with master students my professor was very simple american guy he doesn't have any idea of cheating so his professor doesn't have any idea um, so my professor was very simple american guy he doesn't have any idea of cheating i warned him but he was so kind and believed his students they started the started the abusing of his kindness they started copying again and even offered me money to solve their paper homework it's very sad i i informed my professor and did not reveal the names so he is good guy then the person who are the professor sent email is very humble because he did not reveal the names of students 
um, otherwise university will bar them right uh, uh, otherwise yeah they would be expelled from the school and we will have one less h1b abuser thanks to our kindness then in the final exam they sit in very dense way and seeing each other papers in the exam hall while my professor was explaining questions to some other student then we find the same answers in all exam sheets and it was surprise for my professor he could not believe his eyes then he started randomly assigning seats for each of the students like in india right mm-hmm. there comes the new way of cheating some solved something to keep picture with phone whatsapp and the picture in a group and again everyone had the same answers it took uh, took us a long time to realize what's going on then all phones had to be on professor's table before sitting for an exam then they started passing the papers under the table and again everyone had the same answers i wish they could use their intelligence or something productive i saw a doctorate professor being so helpless teaching these cheaters so then he appointed all his phd students as a exam proctors in the final exam so there were in total six of us uh, proctored the exam we are was cto or i'm like i said i'm bad at english proctored the exam protected maybe proctored the exam hall around 60 students that was also my last semester and i saw indian students suffering in the exam hall because finally they could not copy or cheat and there we got their real grades and you can guess how that looked like so in my whole graduate life from a Mm, around total 5 years he studied right uh, for a phd i was teaching assistant on and off and i experienced this uh, situation uh, which pissed me off the these students eventually passed and got a masters degree in computer science and with the help of from indian hiring managers and recruiters sitting in every big companies and got job working as programmer software engineers blah 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 lada 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 whatever i am also working as software developer in a big company with phd degree i wonder what is the difference between me and them uh, i am also in the queue for a gc with these people is this justice what is the fate of those american master students who never did any cheating i think they don't have any idea that cheating is a thing no idea cheating is a thing um, if they could not solve anything they left the paper blank that means he is talking about americans uh, if they don't know they leave the blank paper and go went to the professor or the ta for helping them understand the problems that is the difference between indians and americans indians copy and paste americans they go to professor and ask that's what he was writing I don't see these people often around. I am very much concerned about the bill S386. This bill may not be, uh, this word may not be understandable to many in India. Uh, please Google it, S386, uh, which will just destroy the American people's life and other skilled immigrants from RO, R-O-W. i i don't know so i asked what is row then he said it is rest of the world ex- excluding indians <laughs> so they, there will be there will be in in way in invasion of indian people in the tech industry and in every single tech job will under their control so they will not give any chance to any american or rho rest of the world it will be only there so that's what uh, he was anticipating saying that um, i don't want to show much of the mail thank you for uh, your patience